Hi there, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you for joining me for this moment of zen. I'm filming here on Playa Tamarindo in Costa Rica and I hope that you can enjoy the sights and the sounds of the beach and the ocean. I'd like to thank all of my YouTube subscribers and members and my Patreon supporters. Thank you for the support of Five Parks Yoga. If you are interested in a yoga teacher training with Five Parks Yoga, uh, join my email list for updates and that will be coming in the near future. All right, now for our moment of zen, we're gonna stay close to the floor, do some nice releasing in some deep stretches. So come into a seated position, the tall through the crown of your head, Take a deep breath in through your nose. Big open mouth exhale. Close your lips and begin your practice of Ujjayi Pranayama. So matching the sound of the ocean behind you. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Gently constrict the back of your throat for an audible inhale and exhale. So listen to the sound of your breath as it flows in and out through your nose, as you ground through your sitting bones, and as you reach and stretch nice and tall through the crown of your head. Breathe in deeply here. Let's take some neck rolls so you can bring your left ear toward your left shoulder with your eyes open or closed. And you can rock your head side to side in half neck rolls, or you can go all the way around in full circles. If you're taking full circles, pause when your chin meets your chest and reverse directions. If you're rocking your head side to side, just continue gently rocking and complete your circle if you're doing full neck rolls come back to center breathe in reach your arms up overhead as you breathe out bring your left hand to your mat bring your right arm up and across keep your shoulder in line with your hip you can look down at your hand that's on the floor or you can look up toward the ceiling or the sky Continue with your deep breathing. And on your next breath in, bring both arms up overhead and then take your right hand down to your mat. Bring your left arm up and across, keeping your left shoulder in line with your left hip. Come back to center, both arms up overhead. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Press your fists down toward the floor as you lift your chin up off your chest and then hinging from your hips, come forward, bringing your forehead in the direction of the floor, bringing your hands up and over the back of your head or just in that direction. Just expanding your chest, you're getting a stretch in your hips and your low back. As you breathe in, come all the way back up and then release your hands and come into a tabletop position. Let's roll through three cats and cows, opening the front and back side of the body. So breathe in, drop your belly, lift your chin, lift your tailbone, breathe out, round your spine, bring your chin toward your chest, look back toward the back of your mat. And again, inhale, cow pose, exhale, cat. One more of each. Come back to tabletop. Bring your right leg up to a 90 degree angle. Imagine that your foot is stamping on the ceiling, so your foot is flat, and then we're gonna do some hip rolls. So you're gonna bring your right knee to meet your left, and then you're gonna circle it down and around until you come back to 90 degrees and keep going. So your right knee meets your left, so you come up around, back to 90 degrees, and one more. 
Now, straighten your right leg, bring your right leg to the right, set your foot down on the floor, bring your heel behind your toes, tuck your left toes under and bring your hip to your heel. Bring your forehead in the direction of your mat. So you're getting a big stretch in your right inner thigh, the bottom of your left foot, your shoulders, and lengthening your spine. Return to a tabletop position and let's take those hip rolls on the other side. So bring your left leg up to 90 degrees, flex your foot back so you're stamping the ceiling. Now bring your left knee to meet your right and then circle it around all the way back to 90 degrees and continue. Big circles. Let's do one more. Now straighten your left leg. Bring your left leg to the left, set your foot down your heel behind your toes, tuck your right toes under, and bring your hip to your heel as you release your forehead down in the direction of your mat. Breathe deeply. Listen to the sound of the ocean and the sound of your breath. Come back to tabletop position. Bring your knees wide. Bring your big toes to touch. Sit your hips to your heels for extended child's pose. Stretch your arms nice and long. Spread your fingers wide. Walk your hands to the right and press your left hip toward your left heel. You can release your head to your mat. Feel the stretch along the left side of your body. Walk your hands through center and off to the left. Bring your right hip towards your right heel. Release your forehead down onto your mat. Feel the stretch along the right side of your body. Walk your hands back to center. Now, you're just gonna slide your left arm underneath your right. Come onto your left shoulder and your left ear. Enjoy this shoulder stretch as you continue to stretch out your low back and your hips. Extend your left arm long on your mat and slide your right arm underneath your left. Come onto your right shoulder and your right ear. Bring your right arm long on your mat. Take one more breath in extended child's pose. Walk your hands to your knees. Bring your knees to touch so you're coming into rock pose. Rest your hands on your thighs. On your next breath in, come to kneeling. Rise up, bring your arms up. And then keep your hips over your heels as you come into heart melting pose. So you're gonna bring your hands to your mat, bring your chest to the floor, but keep your hips high. So deep stretch for your shoulders and your upper back. And we're just gonna take one more breath here. Now make your way forward to Cobra Pose. So bring your elbows to your mat and then slide forward. Hands are underneath your shoulders as you press up to high Cobra Pose. So keep your head in line with your spine. You can bring your chin up without crunching the back of your neck, getting a nice front body opener. A little bit of strengthening here in your arms. Take one more breath in in Cobra Pose. And then as you breathe out, make your way to Downward Facing Dog Pose. So tuck your toes under, lift your hips, 
release your heels down toward your mat. On your next breath in, lift your right leg high. We're coming into wide-legged low lunge. So bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Keep your heel in line with your toes. Release your left knee down onto your mat. Take the top of your left foot flat to the floor. Right toes out at an angle. Press your right knee open, twisting in your spine. You can look up at the ceiling or the sky, down at the floor, or back toward the back of your mat. Putting up your right under thigh, your left hip flexor, twisting in your spine. Bring your right hand back to your mat. Now we're gonna heel toe our right foot across our mat. We're coming into pigeon pose. So release your right knee in the direction of your right wrist. Left foot is flat to the floor. As you breathe in, open the front of your body as you lift the crown of your head up. Maybe lift your chin up. Exhale, release to sleeping pigeon, taking your forehead in the direction of stacked hands or fists or onto your mat. going to take your left leg and just sweep it around flat to the floor bring your right foot to your left inner thigh we're going to face our shoulders toward our left toes reach your arms up overhead and then forward bend over your left leg can you hear the sound of your breath as you hold this pose stretching out your left hamstring and your low back. Make your way all the way up, reaching your arms up overhead. And let's take the twist and side bend. So bring your left hand toward your right knee and then reach your right arm up and over toward your left toes. It's okay if they don't reach, you just wanna stay extended through the right side of your body. So try not to collapse your right shoulder forward. Release from your side bend, and then cross over your ankles and make your way back to downward facing dog. We're gonna take those stretches on the other side. So on your next breath in, lift your left leg high. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Release your right knee and the top of your right foot flat to the floor. Take your left hand to your left knee. Point your toes out as you press your knee open and you look up or down at your mat or back to the back of your mat. Right, unwind from your twist. Take your left hand back to your mat and then heel toe your left foot across your mat, bringing your left knee down in the direction of your left wrist. As you breathe in, open the front of your body. Reach through the crown of your head, lift your chin up off your chest. As you breathe out, release to sleeping pigeon. onto your hands. I'm just gonna slide your right leg around. 
keep it extended. Your heel is flat to the floor and your toes point up. Lift your arms up overhead and then face your shoulders toward your right foot and then forward bend over your right leg. Continue to listen to the sound of your breath as you stretch through your right hamstring. And then lift your arms up overhead. Now you're going to take your right hand to your left knee for a twist. And then your left arm comes up and over, reaching toward your right toes. Now if your hand does not reach your toes, you can keep it extended just as long as your shoulders stay in line with one another and in line with your left hip. So you're getting a deep side stretch. Release from your side bend. And bring the soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Take your hands to your ankles, lift up through the crown of your head, and then you can hinge forward, pressing your elbows onto your knees, bringing your forehead in the direction of your feet. Lift all the way back up so your shoulders are over your hips. Take your hands, bring your knees together. Wrap your arms around your knees, maybe taking opposite hand to opposite elbow, and then bring your forehead in the direction of your knees. Keeping that connection with your breath, your body, your mind, and your heart. Come all the way back up. You can hold onto your knees and then roll down onto your back. Bring your arms to a goal post position with your palms facing up. Bring your legs to 90 degree angle. And let's take a recline twist. Bring your knees to the right. Option to take your right hand onto your left knee. Breathe deeply into your belly. Take one more deep breath. Come back through center. Bring your knees to the left. Option to take your left hand onto your right knee. Try to keep your right shoulder glued to your mat if that's possible. So deep, deep twist in your torso. As you breathe in, let your belly expand. As you breathe out, let your belly contract. Come back to center. Now separate your knees and feet for happy baby. You can hold on to your toes, ankles, calves, whatever is, is accessible to you. You can hold in stillness or you can rock from side to side. Bring your knees back to center for knees to chest pose. Wrapping your arms around your legs. And for the best moment of Zen 
in this class, let's make our way to Shavasana. So make yourself comfortable, take up space if you have it. Let your feet fall open, palms face up. Breathe in deeply through your nose and hold it at the top. Sigh it out. <sighs> Return to the natural rhythm of your breath. Noticing a sense of groundedness. Of peace and calm in your body. Connection to your heart. If you have the time, stretch out your moment of sin. If you don't, you can join me in seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Grounding, open mouth, exhale through your mouth. And today, or this evening, as you move forward. May you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, most especially peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.